Welcome back to Hour 3 of the New River Building Supply Afternoon Show. Jeremiah Farmer bringing it to you from inside the Discovery Chevrolet Buick GMC studio. And all throughout the NFL playoffs, we have been inviting Brian Fisher from the Hour Request Short Order Lunch to join us and make some playoff picks. And uh, we're doing that again uh, today for this weekend's conference championship games. Let's welcome him in. Fish, how's, hey, how's man. it going? Yeah, good. Thanks for having me in here today, Jay. Talk uh, some football. Yeah, man. Uh, I, I said earlier off the air that uh, I have to brag a little bit. I got every pick <laughs> right last week. But the only reason I'm bragging is because that never happens. And I will probably <laughs> miss both of these games uh, in the words of Trump, big league. I, big league. I, I don't know if it's going to be big league, but we are going to see some, <laughs> some pretty good football this weekend, I think. Uh, the first one on Sunday is at 3.05 for the NFC Championship. The Green Bay Packers, who won that epic game against the Cowboys that everybody was talking about. Yeah. And the Falcons, who honestly looked like the best team over the weekend when they pretty much thumped the Seahawks. So who's coming out of the NFC? Uh, they, they handled it uh, this weekend, man. I think the Falcons' Dirty Birds going to take the W against the Packers this weekend. They're going to be at home in Atlanta. I was there last year uh, for a game when Minnesota took on Atlanta. Man, that is a raucous crowd down there. They, uh, they get after it, especially when it comes to being in the NFC Championship game. That place is going to come alive. Uh, Atlanta got the, the win over the Packers earlier in the season, 33-32. to 32, uh, But some outliers are going to take advantage with the uh, the Falcons, I think, this weekend. We saw uh, Green Bay's defense struggle. They've had some injuries like uh, you talked about earlier before we came on the air there. Uh, but one thing that uh, that I think that is really going to outlaw is Aaron Rodgers' luck is going to run out. I mean, we've seen this guy make some plays, <laughs> just some luck plays. I don't know if the guy's talented. But, uh, man, you have to have a lot of luck to be able to pull off what he's pulled off the last couple of weeks. But I think uh, the, the luck stops in Atlanta. I think the Falcons surprised me most last weekend during the divisional round with their defense. I wasn't expecting their defense to look that great. Couple that with the fact that Green Bay's defense looked absolutely awful. Yeah. Now, uh, in their defense, they are dealing with a ton of injuries. I mean, they're really, really thin in the cornerback and safety positions. Uh, and also, you mentioned Aaron Rodgers on the offensive end. Would you believe that Matt Ryan threw for more yards this season, about 500 more yards, is only uh, two touchdowns behind Aaron Rodgers. They threw the same amount of interceptions, and he has a better quarterback rating than Aaron Rodgers does. I, I wouldn't doubt that for one bit. And I, I think Atlanta as a whole is just a complete better team on the defense and the offensive side of the ball. Of course, he's got his go-to man, Julio Jones. You can never count out Julio Jones, especially in a championship-type scenario. Uh, in the same way that Des Bryant ripped up the Green Bay defense and, and the Cowboys should have thrown it to him more, they yeah. probably would have won. Uh, I think Julio Jones is going to do that again this week to the Green Bay defense. I'm picking Atlanta to go to the first Super Bowl uh, for them since 98. It's been a while. They want this one. Believe me, I remember 98. Yeah, I, I, remember 98. I, I, I do too. As a Broncos <laughs> fan, that's a great, great Super Bowl. <laughs> uh, we go to the AFC. Uh, the kickoff is 6.40 p.m. at Pittsburgh at New England. Fish, a lot of people buzzing about this one. Who's going to pull it out of Foxborough? Man, uh, too much drama going around Pittsburgh right now. Uh, I think New England going to stay consistent. We forget these guys are 14-2 and two on the season. I mean, there's not been any talk about the Patriots this year. It's been around the Cowboys' phenomenal year. It's been about the Packers. It's been about a, a lot of these teams in New England, surprisingly, has just kind of kept to themselves in the background a little bit. To Tom Brady having another MVP top season this year. Uh, they beat the Steelers handily back in their matchup in October, 27-16. to 16. I think uh, Foxborough, the side of yet a Another AFC championship. Uh, the championship's going to stay at home this weekend. Pittsburgh, and they've got a lot of drama going on this week with everything. The Antonio Brown Facebook Live video, Mike Tomlin with his trash talking. Uh, too much too much drama for your mama in Pittsburgh, I think. Well, it's interesting. We were talking that, that every once in a while, every few years, a team from the AFC will go to Foxborough and they'll beat the Patriots. Uh, the Steelers have done it. The Broncos have done it. Uh, every once in a while, it'll happen. Uh, it ain't happening this year, Fish. Yeah. Uh, the Patriots are coming out of Foxborough. They're going to the Super Bowl, in my opinion, unless unless Pittsburgh can find the end zone. They've got some beasts on offense. Uh, Le'Veon Bell is is one of the best running backs uh, of the year, undoubtedly. Yeah. Antonio yeah. Brown's a beast at a wide receiver. But they didn't score a single touchdown against Kansas City yeah. last week. Yeah. All field goals. 
I think uh, Brady is going to go to a, another Super Bowl. Yeah, if you get to the red zone on the Patriots, you're going to have to score. Well, uh, next week we'll break down all the action, and then the week after that we'll make our picks for the big game. Hard to believe it's already it's Super Bowl time. I know you're looking yeah. forward to seeing Lady Gaga at halftime, uh, right? <laughs> I'm going to be uh, getting a refill <laughs> on Mountain Dew and Wings when that's going on. <laughs> we'll have to check it out. Uh, catch fish tomorrow. Tell them what time you're on. That's right, 11 to 2, taking your request. Y'all join me on your lunch break. Hey, we're back to the music now on the New River Building Supply Afternoon Show.